Oh, he's got a cute booty. He's got a cute booty. Testing my voices. I got a, a real concerned wag right now. He's turning his back to me, which tells me there's a little bit of comfort, but I'm getting kind of stiffness, whale eyes when I do that kind of higher pitched voice. So I have to pay attention to the messages he's sending to me. He might, he might find that voice very disingenuous. He might have had too many people do that to him who were trying to put a leash on him or something like that. So I might associate that. Nope. He might associate that voice with, oh, they're going to try to give me a shot or cut my nails or put a leash on me or something like that. So I might have to get away from the softer talking because it's been overdone and, and all that sort of stuff, probably in the shelter as well, probably a lot of softer talking just to try to put him at ease. And so he might associate softer talking with bad experiences. So I might have to keep it just a little bit more chill, talk a little more monotone, talk a little bit more, you know, at a regular volume rather than being softer about it just to put him at ease. Um, Cause sometimes that happens. You see some dogs that get tremendously triggered by the, the baby talk or the soft talking and stuff like that. And then you see other dogs that open up to it. So you, you do have to test, test the waters on what their experiences have been with that type of talking, what that topping or that type of talking, you know, draws out of them and kind of keep reading the dog and understanding them a little bit better. Sometimes you get the, the baby talk and it just sends them through the roof, like major anxiety and all this sort of stuff. So you can't use it at all. It's not opening them up. It's putting them in a, a worse state of mind, maybe not necessarily aggressive, but I can see every time that I've, I've tried to do that softer talking and things like that with him that he's gotten instantly stiff, probably assuming that I'm going to do something else, right? Probably assuming I'm going to try to you know, put him in a kennel or, uh, you know, put a leash on him or try to touch him or examine him or something like that. And so we want to want to try to avoid that.